Hello all, Sirius Thieves here, back for some more finishing Vermadeath, and I'm back on the freighter for a couple of reasons. One, I've recalled the frigate missions. Yes, yes I have. Okay, good. <laughs> I can't remember how much I've done today or not. Uh, yeah, recalled them. I think a couple have leveled up, so we're going to check in with the fleet first before we send new ones out. Um, we're just going to quickly send a couple out. Oh, some stuff has leveled up. Okay. Um, let's take a peek. 3%, 4%, yeah, it already is a 4%, yeah, okay, 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 that's it, rename it, get rid of the second one, because it's S-Class now, there we go, um, <clears throat> that's not too bad, 4%, let's see, what else, that was industrial, we already have a 4% industrial, so now we're competing against 4%, we're probably, you know what, we're probably just going to not replace industrials for now, because, our combat ship also leveled up recently, and I already renamed that one. It's still also a 4%, but that is heads and tails better than the 3% we got going on here with minus 2s each. So let's take a peek here. Um, combat, combat, fuel cost, and combat. And the other one is... Combat... Ah, damage reduction. Blah, you're the one who's gone. Get out of here. Yeah, and look at the difference. 27 versus 40... What were the levels? Oh, this one's about max. This is what this one's almost at max level. That could be why as well. Uh, yeah, this one's getting up there. Only a couple more cycles for this one uh, for leveling up. So yeah, this one's definitely better. We're gonna ditch this one and we're gonna be down a combat ship. I'm just gonna do it right now. Yep, confirm. And I'm just holding you know, on PC the middle mouse button instead of going into the menu and clicking on dismiss and holding down, you can just hold down the middle mouse button the same as you used to be able to. That still works. All right, any others with a double asterisk? Let's double check this one. How many more levels has it got? Oh, lots more, 20 more missions worth of levels. It did just level up recently again. Got a couple more stats. That's my best one on the save, 8%. 2%, or sorry, two asterisks. Asterixy, asterix? Two asterisks. <laughs> Um, 3%, this did not level up to be uh, more than a 3% or to get more than 15%. Yeah, it didn't get damage reduction, so it didn't waste a slot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm willing to bet that's probably one of my first worst frigates then. I won't even bother renaming it, I think we're just going to ditch it. 3%, 15, 18, 18... 24, 18, 18. Uh, the only ones worse are, <laughs> technically, yeah, technically the only ones worse are my combat frigates and exploration frigate up here. And I don't expect them to get up to 15. That would be ridiculous. So, yeah, that's definitely my worst support. So I'm going to be down, oh, not that one, uh, this one here. One support and one combat. We're not going to replace those today. That's not why we're here. So, yeah, two slots open, and I know what they are. These ones, I guess, technically, some of them are probably a bit worse than the ones we just got rid of, maybe, potentially. But they're leveling up. They have potential to grow. So let's do that. Let's do that right now. One quick check. Do I have enough fuel before we... Yes. Oh, tons of fuel. <clears throat> we only technically need to send out one mission, I think. Uh, but I would like to level up maybe some of those uh, S-Class support frigates and such. So let's see what we got. 26 hours. We can do that one. We'll reduce that nice and low with all of these. I, you know, I didn't check these. These might have also leveled up and gained stats and modules that I'm not, I haven't recorded here. Might be better than 5%. Might be better than 3 for example, right? We're already at max. No matter what I assign as my fifth ship, these stats will not change. But let's get some experience on this one, and let's see how many hours that takes. And what time it is. We're almost an hour past reset. Yeah, we got lots of time on that. We will send that 600 tons. Boom. Easy. And discovery. Let's send at least that 8% out and get it some more experience. Boom. And that one, 5% is also great. 4% is fine. And these ones don't cost a lot of fuel. That's why it's okay to send these ones on a long mission. Now, I would like to level up some of these ones as well, but I think I'll send those on shorter missions because they don't have as great fuel bonuses. 
So let's see what these 4% and uh, I guess I can send a couple 3% as well. There's a 24%, I, or 24% for, no, not percent, 24 fuel reduction. I don't know how that works exactly, but it's pretty high up there. So that'll be a one we get rid of last for the three percenters. So let's send that one. And what else is leveling up? That's it. That's it for supports that are three percent and that will good. I like the name on this one, so we'll hang on to that one last as well. Boom, 100 tons for a 20, what was that? How many, 20 hours, something like that? 21 hours, yeah, 21 and a half hours, woo. All right, let's see. These are shorter missions. How much fuel do I have left? Uh, wrong way. Uh, not too much, but you know what? Let's get rid of it. Let's use it up. I'll make more tomorrow. <laughs> All right, 14. Yeah, it is, it is a decently long mission. Let's send some of these that I want to level up. That one, that one. Yeah, I think I'll keep both of these for now. 4% is fine. That's a really good bonus. Uh, 5 is I. That's my goal, is to get everything to 5%. So I do want to get rid of one of these eventually. But let's level them up and see what the stats are on these things, right? And then, then we'll can, we can compare it later. 4%, um, 5%. And sure, 4%. 500 tons for a much shorter mission. But good good reduction in hours. All right, there we go. That is uh, number one. And if you caught a really split-second glimpse, if you got a really good eye, you would have seen when I went to the inventory, uh, it started off on the Starship. That's why we're here today. This is what we're going to do. We're going to scrap this old ship of mine that got us all the way into uh, Isentam. I found this one myself, and I think it set the tone for the color theme of the save, being red and gray. But it's time to let it go. I want to get another ship. I want to get an explorer on the save. I have a fighter. I have not tricked it out yet. I have two fighters, technically, because we have the golden vector, which I'm going to leave as the building ship. <coughs> We've got the living ship, which I'm going to keep as a trophy because they're cool, but not really too practical. We've got this beautiful fighter that I found, I think, on the exchange. And we went and grabbed in the video a while back. It's uh, it's not ready. It's not done yet. But it looks pretty. So I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> and it's not, not to say that this one does not look pretty. It's just this is the one that's got to go for me to make room. I want to keep the two haulers. I'm definitely going to keep my hauler as my main flying ship, the one over there in the corner. Love that thing. And uh, this one is really cool. Really love the style of this kind. Second favorite tail. Um, actually, I really, really like these fins on this tail. The, I think that's the best version of this tail. The one with that I have on over here. These ones I do not like as much. I would rather have the bear tail than these fins because they're sort of broken when you're flying this thing around uh, one of them will turn and the other one won't when you turn the other way so I, it bothers me if they fix that I don't mind those fins at all if they just keep them level I, I wouldn't mind that at all if they just got rid of the animation <laughs> all right well let's get to it let's see what we can do while we're here on the freighter because we're gonna need some space we want to keep some of this stuff at least uh, whoops, wrong button. I want to go here to technology, and I want to break down, yeah, that. Uh, I can't remember what the components that they get back are, but just in case we need some of them to rebuild on the new ship. Let's break down as much as we can hold. Does it go into here? It does, okay. Um, maybe I'm not looking at the right thing. Do I not have a combat scanner on this thing? I guess I didn't. I'm not seeing it, at least. All right, let's just start breaking stuff down. See what we get. Can't break down the actual deflector. But all of these S-Class modules are no problem. And I'm not going to keep everything we get. I'm going to take a peek at what everything is worth, and what we got room for. Uh, did I just delete Pyrite? Wait, what? How does that? What? It, 
Oh yeah, you can delete anything. Whoops, I just deleted Pyrite. <laughs> Discard, yeah. Huh, I've never... Hmm. I don't think I've done that by accident before. Whoops. Goodbye, Pyrite. <laughs> this was on a ship that I wasn't using anyway. I'm not too afraid to lose any of the stuff that was on this. Like I said, we're not going to keep everything on here anyway. I just want to... Whoops, yeah, I can't get rid of them. I just want to see if anything is valuable that will help in replacing these things. Stuff like an emergency warp uh, system. Uh, this. Warp cell. Yeah, okay, that's easy to replace. But some stuff might give unique things. And just in case, we'll take a peek. Boom. Boom. I'm probably not going to get the chromatic... Um, Sorry, not chromatic, the positron upgrades on the new ship. I don't think I'll get weapon upgrades at all. We'll just use it for warping. I want to get a max range explorer is what I'm looking for. I don't think I've ever gotten one. So that's what the goal is today. The second half is going to be us just reloading and or waiting for stuff to pop into a space station here. Um, no, here's where I want to be, right? Okay, so this will, we will keep. Wait, exosuit. Yeah, we got room. Okay. That will keep. That will keep. The wiring looms we're going to need to install stuff. That we're going to need. Deuteriums, nah. Not too hard to get a hold of, but it takes a little bit of time. That's worth keeping. All of that is worth keeping. Sure, why not? we got a slot on the regular ship for that stuff. Uh, then we'll send stuff to the freighter. How do you like them apples? High capacity of can hold four more of those. Um, <clears throat> I don't think we need that many wiring looms. We can ditch all of this stuff. We're just going to scrap the ship with all of this garbage in it. It's not all garbage. I mean, I can probably actually, yeah, see, look, fill up a couple of, of slots of resources, right? Uh, <clears throat> do we need cadmium to install anything? I've got at least a thousand on the ship, and I'll be able to go get more. Uh, like this, I can just uninstall modules if I need more cadmium, to be honest. Ooh, we're low on uh, ferrite. Okay, that's worth, maybe it's worth checking. <laughs> yeah, look, we can hold all of that platinum, all of that gold. Pognium, we have tons of. Magnetized ferrite, I thought we'd be full on. Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. That should do. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. This thing is ready for scrapping, as is. It's got very little technology now, so hopefully we don't get in a fight in the 10 seconds it takes to fly to the space station. Ooh, it's a little bit hard to control with everything else uh, removed, too. It's a little bit more reactive than I expected it to be. Oh, well, this is a bit of a disappointment. I think I just saw the ship I want blur right past us. I don't know what class it was. I'm hoping to actually pick it up in an A class today so that we can try to upgrade it to see what the automatic upgrade will be if we do get a lower class and keep it that way. Because if it's max range through upgrade, that's fine by me. That's awesome. Uh, I would actually... Oh, oh, come on, game. <laughs> I would actually prefer that we get to... Hmm, should I scrap now or... Yeah, let's just scrap it now. Oh, I don't have inventory space. Never mind. Let's not scrap it now. Let's go sell some stuff off first. Or I think most of the stuff in my inventory I wanted to keep. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right, let's move it to the freighter if we can. Yeah, definitely. That there should be room for. Warp cells. I think that's actually more useful for installation of items. Okay, star shield batteries, I don't think we really need. We'll move that over. Uh, oh, oh, I think the game froze on me. Yeah, well, I've, I can see my cursor. <laughs> That's a bad sign. Uh, it's a spinning disk, so we'll give it a second here. Sometimes it catches up. And if not, I did just make an autosave. I will uh, alt-tab and pause the video, and we'll be back in a second. All right. I'm, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not seeing it, so let's see about pausing the video. Just one second, everybody. 
boom <laughs> there we go we're back in hello everybody and oh hey ships are landing too that's that's not the one we want not at all but uh while ships are landing oh that's uh that's neat that's not the one we want but it's similar i hope the one we want doesn't actually have these tail fins <laughs> all right <clears throat> let's see about scrapping this ship Oh, 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 oh. Didn't like to make that blur happen, did it? Claim scrap worth 100,000 units. Oh, oh, I hope I have enough slots. Uh, that's one AI, two AI, <coughs> two AI valves. So maybe it's only one item we're going to get. <laughs> no, of course not. All right, all right, all right. Um, we're going to have to delete that. We do not need the pugnium. We can't store this anywhere either, huh? You know what? I think we're just going to have to lose it. Um, actually, I probably have room in a storage container. Let's just put it there for now. Let's see if two more slots was enough. And if not, we'll make a, a bit of room in the uh, cargo slots. Claim scrap. Let's try it again. No, of course it's not. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. I don't think we have any room except in cargo slots. No, that's all equipment because I'm ridiculous. Okay, uh, we might have room for this actually, just as is on the freighter. Yes, we do. How about dihydrogen? No, we don't have a slot for that. But for those, sure, we've got. Oh no, we don't have a room for those there. Hmm. 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 I don't think we have slots for anything else there. Maybe magnetized ferrite? Nope. Nope. We could take a peek. That's what we could do. Uh, freighter, what do we got slots for? And uh, what can we make room for? You know what? We could make room. One, two, three. Bam. There's room right there. Go back to the cargo. And. Anything we can stack up real high. There, there, there we go. Two oxygens. I knew I was carrying two of something. I think that's it. Copper and activated. Yeah, that's the only doubled up slot right now. Okay, so let's see about now. How about now? How do you like them apples? Hmm, scrapping machine? I'm waiting for ships to land anyway, so we got time. <laughs> oh, you know what I didn't do is I did not restart my timer. <laughs> we might go a little bit over time today. Oh no, what a shame. Hey, finally we can scrap it. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I want to keep any of those modules in specific, and that's probably why we got so many... Uh, Inventory slots filled up there. It was a fighter we were scrapping. Look at all of these things we just got. Cyclotron. Pot, you know what? I'll keep the positron. Photon cannon. Uh, phase beam. Infernife. And uh, I'll keep the shield. But yeah, we got, I think, six modules from that one scrap. Oh, and hey, look. Look what ship appeared here for us. I can probably just use these right away. Where did they go? Oh no, was I scrapping modules from the ship that appeared? I was totally scrapping modules from the ship that appeared, wasn't I? <laughs> what, was I? No, there it is. Aha, okay, good. I knew it. <laughs> okay, let's hop out, make a save. No, that's not the ship we want. But uh, it's fine that we have the ship here. The freighter is outside. Uh, we got a couple storage augmentations. Are these? Let's use them. Yeah. Why do? Why wouldn't we? We got three more right here. Okay, uh, the technology slots are already full though, so let's f max the ship out. Finally. <laughs> While we're here, why not? We're waiting for ships to land. Oh no! Oh my gosh! The game! Wow! Don't don't freeze on me again, game. I did just make a new autosave, so we're all good. But uh, yikes! <laughs> Supply augmentations. I only have three slots, but yeah, boom, boom, and boom. There we go, maxed out. <clears throat> it's now ready for installation of everything. Take up all its slots. So let's save it. Yay. So we made uh, some advance today. And we haven't sold any of that yet. We can sell that right away if we want, but we don't need to sell it. We're at max units on the save. Boom. 
Who cares? <laughs> In fact, yeah. Let's see. Did we get an AI valve? Two of them, like I predicted. Let's put those away. Uh, boom. There we go. We're saving those. They're worth a fortune for a rainy day if we ever run out of units. <laughs> but the rest we'll delete. <clears throat> That's not worth hanging on to for a long time. It's all just scrap for units and nothing else. Chlorine. While we're waiting for ships to land, let's take a peek. What do we got? Now I got a thousand chlorine already. <clears throat> we're not keeping this either. Boom. Boom. Let's put some stuff away, shall we? Yeah, let's do that while we're waiting. Okay. Oh, hey, look. Another storage augmentation. We have tons of those still, anyway. Oh, ship landed. I saw that. No, it is an explorer, but it's not the one I'm looking for. Um, Corvax system, so there are a lot of explorers here. Hmm, that's a downside. It is an explorer we're looking for, so it could be a long time till we see the one we want, because there's seven different explorers in this system. Still, still. <laughs> uh, that can, we can just hold... No, we don't want to waste a slot. Um, this was in the inventory. This was in the inventory. And so was some of this. Perfect. 500. That's exactly the amount that I want to be there. And the rest can stay there for now. Deuterium we can call. Oh no, the game just froze again on me. Well, you know what? <laughs> What's going on, game? What's going on? I'll just wait one more second to see if it's gonna... Nope. Nope, cursor's stuck, everything's spinning. All right, one more time, trying to pause the game. Let's see if we can do this again and get it to work. Okay, okay, I think we're back. <laughs> I have not rebooted the computer. Just loaded into the game. I had to redo all of that inventory management we just did. Let's uh, jump in, jump out. None of these are the ship that I want. So we haven't really lost any time, in, in theory. In theory. <laughs> it's been inconvenient for me, but uh, knowing that I can pause the video is uh, very helpful. What a terrible hauler. That's just awful. It's all bent out of shape and stubby. No wings. <laughs> Although we are looking for a no wing ship today. That's the kind of explorer I am looking for. So that's the one I hope to see land. I did see it land at the base. This is a, and, and you know what, you know what? I had to restart the game a bunch of times. Oh, hey, look, it is online, woo. So yeah, while we were here at the base building the beach house, I saw a couple of ships land that I thought were cool. Not this hauler, but another stubby hauler that I thought was cute and not bent out of shape. We're not looking for that one. We've got two haulers on this save. But we are looking for a very similar looking explorer that I also saw land there. So we'll just wait for the next wave and then we can try uh, reloading on the auto save that we just made. Because that was the first wave, and I didn't see any of the ships that I saw in the previous reloads. So that's interesting. So maybe there's a good variety of ships on first wave spawn in this system. I don't know. Uh, well, except that bent out of shape hauler. We did see that last time, so maybe that's a first wave assured spawn, which is disappointing. <laughs> There should only be three haulers in this system, being that it's a Corvax system. The Gex get the seven haulers. The Viking get seven fighters. Nobody gets any extra exotics. There's only one exotic per system. And everybody, unfortunately, gets seven shuttles per system. Okay, um, interesting colors. Neat. I don't mind the color scheme, but I'm not too fond of all the fins. These bow tie wings 
uh, as they're called, I think. I don't like them when they're standing up like that. When they're horizontal with the ship, it's much better than when they're vertical. Although, these vertical fins do go with that vertical fin, but I'm not a fan of those vertical fins either, so... Yeah, no, I'm not a fan of that shuttle either. Uh, that's the one we had in the first wave. Okay, okay. What's ship number four for wave two? Anything? Anything? Bueller? No? We're going to give it one more second or so, see what else is landing, if anything, and then we'll try out loading the game, see what we can get on the second first wave. Okay, if that guy's leaving, we got to have somebody else coming in for a landing soon. Come on. And, uh, yeah, I got rid of all that stuff. I put everything back where it goes. I could take a peek in the inventory. Although that's been what's been crashing the game recently. It's been in, being in the inventory screen. Yeah, the game literally just crashed again. <laughs> oh, 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 it recovered. This time, this time it recovered. Well, la-dee-da. <laughs> okay, we'll put everything back where it was. We'll make a fresh autosave. Maybe, maybe I've broken through the wall to the other side of whatever was causing that crash in the inventory screen. Finally got through to the game that that's uh, something that I'm supposed to be able to do. Let's go to the inventory. <laughs> okay, I thought I heard a ship. Was that just a late landing pad uh, going back down? All right. We've waited more than long enough. That is not the one I'm looking for. That is the third hauler. Also a stubby, but a stubby gooseneck. Interesting creamy color on that. I sort of like that. Not with the red, but uh, maybe, maybe. Anyway, not what we're looking for. I feel like we should just wait for a couple more ships to land since there's nobody else in the landing pads and there should be four ships landing at a time or per wave-ish, thereabouts. <clears throat> All right, no, nothing, nothing. Okay, we're gonna do a reload. <laughs> I do not know that we will get to keep um, online connection services not a big deal we're not using them in particular we're just waiting for ships to land you don't need to be connected for that but i would like it to stay connected because i'd like to get some of my uh, quicksilver missions done i've gathered up at least three for, for quicksilver amounts and i'd like to help progress the community research a bit so maybe i'll do some of that after if we get to keep our connection services and if I find this uh, explorer or not. At this point, how many nanites does it cost to ex to do like a C class all the way up to S? I, I could just do a reload after we see it. Uh, I feel like it's seventy-five thousand for the last upgrade. I can't remember. Or maybe it's 75,000 total. No, no, that's it's 85,000 for a multi-tool total, right? So, I don't know. We might have enough. Anyway, we've got to find it first. And this is a long runway, and we're waiting on... You know what? Let's point this way a little bit so my side-to-side -side sway there doesn't get in the way of us seeing what's coming down the runway. There we go. Don't know that ship's landing but I did see something go past the entrance. There's a shuttle. No, thank you. There's a fighter. Interesting. I like the wings. I'm not a barrel nose fan, but it's not, uh, it's not the worst possible nose, that's for sure. Uh, well, I guess, you know what? It's my least favorite nose, but it's not terrible. What I mean is it's pretty good nose. Just my least favorite. Okay, so I did see this one before on the last reload, I think. Let's take a peek. The engines are not my favorite on this either. They're my least favorite engines. Everything else is pretty good. Uh, again, don't like the fins. You know what? For a shuttle, that's not bad. Uh, I really dislike the color. 
white and yellow. Mm, no, no thanks. But uh, that's a pretty good layout. A nice wing layout. Oh, and I think the game finally froze on me again while I'm flying. Yeah. Well, I, I am stuck up in the air and I'm not holding the keys, so. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? I might just have to call it here uh, because this is getting a little bit ridiculous. Hmm. All right, well, let's try. One more time. 